Crash. <laughs> commented on my socks you might not like them so much if you knew that they were oh that guy underneath but uh fitting to, for today is the day they called the election for joe biden which is fine by me you can't act like trump does and not have people be put off it was his to lose and he lost it so back to this drum machine um so gonna show you today how to permanently delete the bass track if you choose to it's not so much that you're deleting anything or muting anything though but you're choosing what you want output through the the machine um, a couple people had written in a while ago yuri human had asked if anybody knows how to delete the bass player inside please let me know and then aj circuiti circuiti probably uh wrote back just a week ago and uh, let us all know how to do it so and it's really easy so check it out you're gonna go to your drum machine right here you're gonna hit edit and up there you'll see style pops up with a little arrow to the right we can go over to kit sound shapes etc ambience system and then on system we're gonna go down to output and you'll see right here it says all says right there all turn the wheel if you want drums output select that we'll just go ahead and hit um exit and it will save it if you want the bass output by itself select bass and then hit exit or you can have all and you'll have bass and drums and you'll be able to mute whatever uh, well mute the bass sometimes but you can't get rid of rid of it all the time unless you output just drums then hit exit it does a quick little system save and you're done and we're back to uh, no drums at all seems really loud see and i don't have the mute on and the bass is not playing otherwise i'd have to hit mute in fact that function doesn't even work right now because now it's just a purely a drum machine which is really cool because there's a lot of tracks in there I'd like access to without the bass and I can't mute them out or when I do mute it it mutes the drum parts as well so now it's just a pure uh, a drum machine uh, which is awesome so thanks everybody for writing in that's great appreciate the feedback now you know um so now I'll get also had some questions about this uh, switch the foot switch so we'll break this down as well and let you know how I made that all right so this is a crude schematic of how this works we've got a common ground from this part of the connector that goes into the drum machine out to two normally open switches that are in this box this is from a thrift store i could um, uh, open it up for you but i already covered the screw access holes with rubber feet um, but it's you know really under, easy to understand. I used these RCA jacks just because that's what I had laying around. I had this cord that goes to a, a, a male eighth inch uh, stereo plug. I, I put a quarter inch plug on it so it would fit into the back of the drum machine and use these RCAs. But the principle is the same. You need two normally open switches so they are non-latching. They don't ever latch in the closed position. When you stomp on them, 
they momentarily ground the contact and that triggers a change in the drum machine. It either advances or goes to the, uh, the ending of the current riff, whatever's playing. So that's the uh, crude schematic. But I can show you here, here's a common, and then if we attach to, the way I have this set up is for my uh, switch that's easier to get at. You can do it whatever way you want, but this will go ahead and advance. Anytime I step on that, it just makes a connection from the common ground to the, that contact. And then if I go to the tip, this is for ending. And if I just, anytime I hit that, it will roll the machine over to the next, well, to the end, it goes to the stop. But it's just non-latching. Now you could use a male-to-male uh, -male instrument cable, that's stereo, in the same way. You just have to have two normally open switches that will ground your circuit from common ground here uh, and ground it to this contact and or to that contact. And the tip is what takes the drum track to the end. This middle section here is what advances it. So thrift store, you know, paid a buck for the box, had some switches lying around, had these things lying around. But with a minimal of minimal investment, you could um, make up, you know, whatever you want. It wouldn't cost you too much to have an instrument cable, two normally open switches. Those are probably what you'll pay the most for because you pay a little bit for a quality switch that'll stand up to you standing on it. All right, well, there you go. Thanks for all the suggestions. Thanks for letting me know how to take all the bass out of that drum machine. That is awesome. This has been me, Old Guy Jammin' out. See you next time.